All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to solve a very interesting Chen Lu question. In other words, when does the fake Chen Lu hold? So when is it true that f composed with g prime of x equals f prime of x times g prime of x? And just to make things clear, what I'm asking here is for which functions f does it hold that f composed with g prime is f prime times g prime for all g? For all g. And it turns out the answer is quite interesting. So let's actually use the Chen Lu on the left hand side. Then what we get is f prime of g of x times g prime of x equals f prime of x g prime of x. All right. But since this is true for every g, we can assume g is non-zero, so let's cancel this out. So the question is, for which f is it true that f prime of g of x equals f prime of x? But again, since this is true for every g, we can just choose any g that we want. So for instance, choose g of x equals 2x. So in other words, for which f is it true that f prime of 2x equals f prime of x? But the nice thing is, I have done that in another video. So if, let's say, a function is continuous and satisfies f of 2x equals f of x for every x, then that function must be constant. So what we get is that f prime of x is a constant, let's call it a, and so f of x is just ax plus b. So the only functions for which this is true for every g are the linear functions. And I guess, and again, I, I did not believe this the first time I saw this, so let's show this actually. Because if f is linear, then what happens to the left-hand side? f composed with g prime of x, well, that just means a g of x plus b prime, which is a g prime of x. On the other hand, f prime of x times g prime of x is just the derivative of a x plus b, which is a, and it also becomes a g prime of x. So in, in, indeed it is true. And again, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.